All right, so I'm uh, I'm gonna switch up the formula today. I'm gonna start with a quote for the intro. The meaning of life is to discover your gift. The purpose of life is to give it away. Roll the intro. Yeah, so here I am. I'm gonna <laughs> film this video lying in bed because it's been that kind of day. Um, there's currently a hot water bottle placed by my feet because I got terrible circulation. You know, I gripe about it all the time, but honestly, it's the biggest issue for me physically. It's like I'm never the right temperature, never. So a bit too warm is better than a bit too cold in my house. <laughs> but yeah, hope you have had a have had a good week. Um, I feel like overall it's been a bit bit middling for me. Um, yeah, it's just I've been working up to this essay. Really, it was less work than I thought it was going to be. And um, obviously, with the kind of academic thing, it's like once one deadline is done, straight away you're looking at the next deadline. You're like, fuck, what have I got to do for this? So, yeah, that's where I am right now. I'm still still in lockdown. Like, Not like it'd be changing this quickly, but I don't know. I, I don't feel like I'm quite acclimatizing to it yet. It's like, like I said to my friend yesterday when I was speaking to him, like, I feel like I'm yearning for change. And um, in a time like this, it's not like much is changing, to be honest. Everything kind of feels a bit static. So, yeah, yeah it feels like I have to take it upon myself to make that change within my life. Um, I don't know whether that makes sense, but that's just kind of where I'm sitting. I mean, yeah, there's there's another saying which goes something like, um, the the optimist hopes for better weather, the pessimist complains about the weather, and the realist adjusts the sails, you know? And um, I don't know whether I subscribe to that completely, but it's something definitely to think about. Like, I've got plenty of shit I should be doing. Like this weekend, I want to do another draft of my script and you know plan out some of my uh, website that I've got to be making. Hopefully, make another couple of these videos. Um, maybe film some stuff for my reel. Um, but yeah, I mean, here I am in bed lying down. So I don't even know. This is just, this is a classic Maz pastime. I mean, lying in bed, not really getting much done is is one of my fortes, I believe. But, I mean, when it's one of those weeks, it's one of those weeks, you know? I, um, I should probably do, be doing a better job of watching, like, films and TV and that, but recently I've just been watching YouTube, playing games, and, you know, not really doing much, but I've been enjoying it, at least. I mean... That's the thing, I feel like quite often with these, like, deadlines for school that come up and, like, you know, things that I'm working towards, it's, like, it's the cycle of, of tension and, and release where it's, like, you know, either getting excited for something and then enjoying it and then experiencing the down of, you know, it no longer being a thing or, or the opposite where you're anxious and you're nervous of something and then the relief of getting it done and out of the way, you know, and it's, um, it's just that, that rhythm of life where it's, like, ups and downs, it's, sometimes sometimes i i want it to be more balanced but you know maybe it's just it feels like everything gets magnified when when i'm not up to much like this you know it's like a day where i haven't done anything feels more significant now i don't know in the first lockdown it was just kind of like yeah this is where i am i could just not do anything and there's no repercussions let's just keep it rolling and, and hope it will change but but now it's like i'm I'm sick of wishing my life away, you know, there's so many parts of my life where, like, it was just me in school, for example, thinking, Christ, all right, once I get to the end of this week, I can just chill during the weekend, and then it'll be calm, but then the weekend just whips away, and you, before you know it, you're back around to the, to the Monday, just sat in tutor, like, fuck, I've got another five days of this again, and so, yeah, I want to do better of making the most of my, my day, making the most of my life, like, I'm sure I'll look back and be like, these were the golden days, you know, but right now I'm just feeling tired, lazy, and slightly down, and I'm just lying in bed, and that just is what it is, I mean, I was having a discussion with a friend, shout out to Harvey, recently about um, art, and he was kind of, he was telling me about a time where he'd seen some Van Gogh art in, um, in Amsterdam, and he said that um, it he just had to like sit there for 15 minutes, you know, and just really let it sit in, and maybe I need to do a better job of that just in, in day-to-day life, you know. Sometimes it's not just about the first impression. Sometimes it's about, like, yeah, it's about reflection and, 
and how something can really affect you um, and what meaning things have not just in the moment but in the progress of moments you know in the in the you know progression of time or something like that you know I mean I, I recall one time I, I saw this famous painting of Picasso's in Madrid called El Guernica it's a really impressive painting but when I first saw it I didn't understand the context of the painting I just I saw an abstract thing of a bull in a market and it held no meaning to me it it was like I saw it and it felt vacant for me like the meaning of the painting and then last summer I went to the town that the painting was based on that um you know it was just a small market town it wasn't actually strategically advantageous for General Franco the Spanish dictator to bomb it was just like I'm going to prove that I can just obliterate towns like in areas that are, you know um loyal to the Republicans and it was just like it was just a horrible grim horrific act that doesn't get covered a lot in um you know global media but yeah, when I when I went to this town, I went to the museum about the attack, and I kind of I sat more in the historical context of the painting that I saw probably two years previous. It completely changed the meaning for me. It was like I I recall saying to my dad, like I wish I could go back to that painting now. You know, um, I wish I knew what I had known then. Um, I wish I knew then what I had known after. Should I say? I mean. That's the thing is, maybe I'll look back on a day like today and the meaning I get from a day like today isn't just the meaning that I'll get from the moment, you know. Maybe later this evening I'll I'll have a great idea for a script or a film or a sketch or something and I look back and I go, you know what, I really did something that day. But until then, I'm kind of having a bit of an eh one. I'll call it like a 6 out of 10 of a day. I don't know, it interests me to a certain extent, it's like, how much of how good your day is is up to you, you know? Like, one time I was, um, it was actually earlier this holiday, I was cycling to Bath to visit my friend, shout out again, um, and, um, you know, I got a punctured tyre on the way to meet him, and I was like, well, I can't change this. It's like, it's up to me to decide whether this is going to ruin my day or whether it's just another obstacle in a fun adventure, you know? And maybe that's how I should view someone like today, but I just feel tired, I feel lethargic, and I don't know, I'll probably go on a run later to try and reset myself, but sometimes you don't need reset, and sometimes you just need a bit of a situation to change, I don't know, it's been a bit of an aimless episode this episode, but, you know, I'm hoping you enjoyed it in any sense, I'm just kind of staring at the ceiling, discussing what's on my mind, I mean, yeah, it's just one of those ones. I mean, the past few episodes, I don't know, it's been kind of on and off, and I've just had schoolwork to do that I'm still putting off, and it's like, yeah, sometimes you just have to take everything one problem at a time, deal with it, move on, but it's when, like, you know, one thing will irritate me slightly, and then it affects how I do another thing, and I, and I realise that there's there might be a day where I haven't quote unquote completed a certain accomplishment accomplishment of mine or, you know, done exactly what I would have wanted to do and it's that combination of different negative like mind spaces or factors of irritation or things that I wish I had done where it's like it's hard to really separate that and and think about how how much of my negative mind space is is because of each one, you know? You can't tackle everything at once. We're we're not smart enough to do that. At least I'm not. Um, sometimes you just have to take everything one problem at a time, you know. Sometimes you have to just either get your diet into check, start making sure your exercise is up to date, or be be nicer to yourself mentally, you know. Do some meditation and, you know, have some positive, like, reinforcement of your, your own self, you know. Like, what I will do is later today I'm going to write down 10 things I'm grateful for and hopefully that will change my perspective. Hopefully changing my perspective will change my attitude. And hopefully changing my attitude will change my experience. As I bang on about a lot. But when it comes to being more or less grateful, it's on the lesser side today. But I still have a lot to be grateful for. And um, those things haven't changed majorly in any way recently. It's just, as I said, my perspective is, is slightly shifted. My attitude is very negative And is making my experience negative. So... It's all about awareness, baby. Yeah. I hope you have a good day. I hope you have a good life. Have a good one.